I really believe in plant therapy and plant medicine. I think that I want to have a space where it's my sanctuary, but it's a sanctuary that I could share with everybody. I want the people of Pilsen and not just Pilsen, but people in general, people of color, to be able to use me. I want to be able to help each and every single person in every way. Plants give you so much positivity and just coming into the space, it's very air purifying. And we get all kinds of people inside of Semillas where they all kind of find their own plant medicine within the space. And you know, that's my whole concept is I want people to come in and you know, plant their own Semilla. We are a local plant shop located in Pilsen. We are woman-owned and Latina-owned as well. A lot of my obsession with plants literally came from being at home and doing absolutely nothing. You know, I've gotten laid off from my job. It really broke me down in a way where I was dealing with a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety. You know, I worked my way up to kind of get to where I was and I got laid off. I had nothing to show for it. And I know that I do, but in the moment, that's how I felt. I've always had plants, but I was always working, you know? And I think that once I got laid off, I was able to focus on my plants and focus on my, my babies. They're like little lives. Once I started collecting a little bit more, it took me back to almost like our motherland in a sense. It's in our roots, you know, to be able to grow our own vegetables and fruits and everything like that. So I think that growing up, especially in a Latino household, there's no such thing as depression or anxiety. My family has really gone through the ups and the downs and they just dealt with it. Once I started getting more in tune with my culture, that kind of eased that depression and anxiety in a sense where I was figuring out who I was. Once my session grew, I thought I had this crazy idea that I was like, how fun would it be to have a plant shop in the area where I grew up in? At first, when I brought the idea to my parents, I thought they were gonna be against it because Latinos in general, we're not ones to really take that risk in opening up a business because we know nothing about it. We didn't grow up in that world. The first thing they said was, go for it, do it, and we'll be right, right there with you. We will have our full support. And I think that pushed me to do it more, you know, just to see them how excited they were that I was even thinking about it. It brings us a little bit closer, you know, sometimes when you have a big family, everybody's doing their own thing. But me having this business has made us a lot closer. They're with me all the time. They're with me on the weekends. They're, they love being here. They love helping me. They love even just learning more about plans that they didn't even know about. Wilson is a loving community. I think that small businesses here, especially on 18th, we all support one another and we are constantly making sure that everybody's good and our neighbors are good. Me being Mexican and having a plant shop in Pilsen is already a big deal. If our generation should be the ones opening up things like this within our community. We want Semillas to be a space where people you know, come in and either if it's them having a gallery or somebody wants to sell whatever local goods that they have, we want this to be the space where people are able to do whatever it is that they're passionate about and have them plant it in here. <laughs>